All right. Hello. Hello. All right. Ah, uh, yes, I do take pride in the things that I do like. <clears throat> Everyone. Uh, yes, in order to be better than my fellow man. And grace and efficiency and whatnot. <clears throat> it's not about getting where you're going. Um, if that's the purpose you use bicycles for, you'll find them very efficient, but you'll have made a deal with the devil to some degree, much like a professional musician. You then enslave music to a job, and it's no longer a game. And the same with biking. You then <coughs> put yourself at greater risk generally if you use it for transpo. Um, and so if you're not going anywhere, what are you doing on the bike, getting exercise, uh, or whatever, seeing the glorious, beautiful world? And... Uh, Yes, indeed, presenting an image to the world. Um, it's a way to be in public without, oh, interacting more than you want to. Since you're in life, it's really the greatest thing, and people will not judge you uh, as quickly. For example, I like to ride up Soledad on an expensive bike because then I can tear my shirt and sing to myself, and people still don't trip out because you're riding up a mountain under all conditions, and so you would shift according to the train so that you could always be spinning 70 and pushing with 50 newtons or whatever. And so what you'd find is as the grade goes down, you really need to be like in super high gear, even if it's a mild grade. And then as it turns to a mild hill, you have to just crank all the way down directly your very lowest gear. And if you don't do it fast enough, you'll not keep up and not be able to pedal easily while still shifting. You'll like be going too slowly and then it won't shift. And then you'll, if you put power on it, it'll be in the middle of a shift and it'll grind your gears god awful. And, uh, I mean, at that point, you need to just stop and put it in the very lowest gear. And uh, to do that gracefully, because, I mean, it takes a long time to learn this stuff, uh, requires confidence. You have to realize that however far you're along in this process, you are as, as far as you are, and that you are a reasonable person. And so that's obviously a reasonable progress to have made. And so, don't trip out and uh, get all embarrassed and try to do something that would cause you to crash and that's one of the ways to crash is that you get flustered when things get weird. And to recover from a uh, crash using the steering is uh, limited as you go slower it becomes less and less and the amount of turning you must do becomes greater and greater and you can basically cavitate um, when you reach the bifurcation point. And uh, yes, indeed. Oh, there's an etiquette on the road and amazing body language and people are very high tech and uh, everything you do on a bike is seen extremely closely because cars trip out on them and everything else. So, it's nice to have a little grace and style and there are tricks to going up and down curbs and doing all sorts of stuff, getting on and off. Um, yes, indeed, how to brake safely, all that good stuff. You can put sponges in your clothing and then the water will go into the sponges and you can press on them and it will come out in such a way that it stays on you. It doesn't freeze you to death because if you just pour it over your head, oh, you will get shocked. You will get the shock of awe. And plus a lot of the water will fall on the ground and stuff. And so how do you get it onto your body without causing shocking dismay? Um, pouring it down your back also does that. And worse when it touches your core than if it touches your feet. If you pour it on your feet or something or your hands, but out of here. Put it in your sleeve, hold it up like that, all with one hand, pour it down your sleeve, it runs down, runs into your clothing, mm -hmm, but does not get on your skin right away. And so you can kind of touch it gradually and it soaks into your clothes. It really works very well. Uh, see how this is actually a kickback seat post, and then this seat has aluminum screwed into the back or plywood on this one and a padding put on that makes it even longer and actually makes it sittable on since it's not curved like that. Um, and then we have the stems reversed. Extenders uh, yeah, way.
Thank <laughs> you.